All right, so update on Binance Coin BNB. If you've been watching my previous videos, I've outlined these two descending resistances that we've currently got going. The the one that's kind of lower down is, you know, the one that we normally crash into on candle body closes. And the one that we've got up here is normally like when we do break above it, we see wicks and then we get rejected and we obviously close the candle below this trend line here. So all in all, you know, this has held up pretty well. Uh, the trend line, uh, the, the, as in the trend line has held up pretty well. Uh, it was a pretty much telltale sign that if we didn't get above this, we would be falling off the table. And we outlined that in our last BNB video, which is why we have our target down here at between a 17% drop and a 26% drop. So if I zoom out and show you what I mean by this uh, this big green box, if we start off with the top of the green box, you can see, uh, I mean, I, I could use this a number of ways. Uh, in fact, I'll actually move this up a tiny, tiny bit. So the top of this green box, like the top third of it, we've got touch points here, 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 and all over here but i wouldn't be paying too much attention to those it is more of the touch points that we've got here here and here which i'm keeping my eyes on um what the second line down is this line here is the 786 of this big macro fib if i flatten the data you can see we've got our 786 from the low down here when bnb was 210 all the way up to the all-time high of 670 and that is why I think uh, the 786 is a nice level of support here that we could encompass in this green box. And finally, we have the 618 here at 286. So all in all, I've been outlining if we don't get above this trend line, then I think we are going to be breaking bearish. At least in the short term, Bitcoin is breaking down a bit. So I would be very cautious about what is going to happen on Binance in the next, in the next few days. In my opinion, best case scenario, because in my opinion, I think we're coming down in the short term. So in my opinion, the best case scenario is Binance probably loses another 13.26% of its price. Uh, a somewhat more medium conservative target uh, is the 786 backtest down here. I think the 786 is very likely that's a 16% move. And your last line in the sand would be this 23% move. Once we have broken below that, we've invalidated this my, uh, somewhat more mid-term fib uh, and we would have broken below the 618 which is the most important fib of all if we do zoom out you can see this is the uh, the number one fib obviously I've got this drawn to the side to make it um, a little bit more actually the, the all-time high is up here so uh, yeah keeping it to here is very good um, it doesn't make a difference whether the fib is you know this wide or it takes up the whole screen I'm just using it to get the price target so that is all I need so if we do break below the bottom of this uh, trend line here, the only next level that I personally see would have any significance is this 178, which if we do take another drop, we can see that would be a further 38% drop. So like I said, let's just talk about the short term. Worst case scenario, we need to hold 286. If we don't hold 286, we are going to have a very, very big drop on our table. So. Yeah, that's pretty much all I see for Binance. Once again, none of this is financial advice. This is just my opinion on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace.